Great. Can you tell me your name and where you work just now? My uh, name is Jonathan Dawson. I work for the manager. And you're involved in the Commonwealth Games. What was your role? I was just a for your service by the SECC. Part of what I did, we were uh, we had five competition venues here, and I was responsible for all the volunteers that worked outside and inside, uh, and they provided the layer of we called it the fluffy layer. So How did you get into that job? I've been in events for about eight years prior to that, uh, music events. I, I worked for a big concert performer in Scotland, um, and then an opportunity came up to work at Commonwealth Games, and as I've seen, it was a once in a lifetime opportunity, so uh, that's why uh, I applied to be part of it. And did you have any experience of working in sporting events before? No, no, it was my first time doing it. The good thing about events is if you do, if you do it right and you do it well, uh, generally it's quite transferable regardless of the genre. So I've done, as I say, music, um, I've done sport now, uh, I've done some corporate stuff, the TV, uh, and now I'm in the third sector. And the Commonwealth Games was obviously massive. Can you just describe a day in the life of your role in the Commonwealth Games? Uh, prior to it was a lot of planning, so uh, if you can imagine we had about 700 volunteers that we needed to um, train uh, and then give them all shifts and stuff. So there was a lot of planning that went into it about positioning where they were going to go, what they were going to be doing, what equipment they were going to have, logistical aspects of that. Um, once we, so most of it was actually in advance on the day, you had all the plans there. Um, and generally, you're only as strong as your plans are in advance. So if you do that right, it's uh, ideal you get a lot of people uh, during the event day. Now, when the games did kick in, uh, we were very, very busy here. Out of all the venues, we, uh, if you look at something like Hampton, it had maybe 40,000 people come out in and out once. We had uh, a peak here, 11 uh, ingresses and egresses, and that, by that, that's 11 competitions that's going on through the day. So to try and get them in and out was quite a challenge, and to coordinate that there again, there was a lot more uh, went into that. And finally, how has that helped you get your job to say? I'd like to think that in every job I've had over the last 10 years, I've, I've stepped forward and I've progressed uh, myself as from the very first night uh, where I put on bands with myself. Um, so the progression I've made in each job have taught me um, a little bit more. So in this job, I, with the Commonwealth Games, I've a lot more work with the, the local authority and police planning, uh, emergency planning and stuff like that and that's what a lot of the, the work I'm doing now with the work is where we're having to take what would be about 6,000 people over 26 miles. So I've, I've got the experience and uh, I guess uh, the skill and the confidence to be able to deliver it. Thank you and if you could just give one bit of advice to our new volunteers what would that be if they want to do events? What should they do to ways to get into this it's it's, it's about recognizing uh, an opportunity and then taking it uh, it's also planning well in advance not leaving things to the last minute uh, and as I said before you're only as strong as on event day as your plans are that you make in advance. Amazing thank you so much.